morning, everyone. Thank you for coming. I'm Councilmember Robert Carnegie, Chair of the Council's Committee on Housing and Building. We're here to hold a vote on a bill related to reducing childhood exposure to lead hazards. Proposed intro number 464B would require the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene to investigate the potential sources of elevated blood levels, blood lead levels in children, including inspecting any dwelling where a child with an elevated blood lead level spends 10 or more hours per week. This bill would also add to existing lead hazard remediation requirements for facilities providing daycare services, requiring them to post notices describing any order to remediate a lead hazard and to remediate such hazard within 21 days. Finally, under this legislation, building owners would be required to investigate and remediate a lead hazard when a child spends 10 or more hours per week in one of their units. The bill does this by defining the term resides to mean routinely spend 10 or more hours per week within a dwelling unit. The definition of resides does not take effect until January 1st, 2020, which is necessary to ensure that both tenants and owners are educated about this new definition and to provide the city with time to procure the personnel and equipment necessary for enforcement. The goal of this bill is to protect more children. It is neither the intent nor the understanding of the council that the definition of resides will have any impact on the enforcement of lead hazard violations prior to its effective date or any retroactive impact on the validity of previous and outstanding lead hazard related violations. I'm joined today by uh, Council Member Perkins, Council Member Torres, Council Member Drum, Council Member Cabrera, Council Member Gradenchik, and Council Member Cohen. Oh, uh, Council Member Rivera. Sorry, Colleen. Lee Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on housing and buildings, introduction 464B, Chair Cornegy. I vote aye. Cabrera. Aye. Torres. Aye. Gordenchik. Aye. Perkins. Aye. Rivera. Aye. A vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Item has been adopted by the committee. I'm sorry, um, the, one of the bill sponsors, uh, Council Member Drum, uh, has an opening statement. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair. I appreciate the opportunity just to say a few words on the piece of legislation. Uh, the reason why I wrote the legislation is specifically to address the issue of resides. Uh, there have been cases where, um, uh, that have been lost in court because of uh, the term that resides and, and how that applies in the law. And um, a case was brought to our attention uh, so we felt that uh, redefining that word reside is very important to mean that anybody who spends 10 or more hours in a residence actually resides in that residence. And, you know, having been a New York City public school teacher for 25 years, I know the detrimental effect that even the littlest bit of lead can have on a child's um, brain and their future. So I think that this uh, piece of legislation is going to prove uh, to be very beneficial to uh, all young people who live in New York City. Thank you very much. We'll hold the roll open for 10 minutes. <laughs> 